Okay, so the next question that we're asked over here is what is 0.625 as a fraction in simplest form? So whenever we're looking at a number like this, I would start off by just writing it over like a, a very large number, so 0 0.65, this question number 7, so 0 0.625, we know that's equivalent to 625 over 1000. So basically you count how many decimal places over, so 1, 2, 3, and then you know that there's three zeros in the bottom of the fraction, so we'd say 625 over 1000. Uh, and then here we can divide by things that are divisible by 625 and 1000. So right away I see this 25 over here, and there is 600. So I know for 100 is divisible by 25 for sure. That means 600 is also divisible by 25. That means also 625 should be divisible by 25. And we know 1000 is also divisible by 25. So if we divided by both top and bottom by 25, we would end up with 25 over 40. So 25 times 25 is 625 and 25 times 40. So you can either use this, uh, use a calculator to calculate this or just use um, mental math. Um, and then you can divide this by 5 again. So we'll divide top and bottom by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is just 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And now we can see that the numerator and denominator um, don't have any more numbers that are divisible by both. Therefore, we've obtained the fraction for 0.625 in its simplest form. So let's look at what these junior tutors said over here. So a fraction is constant math. So they describe what the fraction is. The decimal value is given in a question. can be converted. So really here is what is the important part. So you start off with uh, 625 divided by 1,000 because you have um, decimals uh, in the 10th, 100th, and 1,000th position. So 625 divided by 1,000, divided by 25, bottom and top, and they go through the same process to get 5 over 8. So this answer is correct. So correct answer. Great job. And we'll mark this question as correct. Okay, so... So question number eight over here is using um, the quotient rule. So we'll leave this question actually for the next session. Okay, so thanks for tuning in um, into this session. Hopefully you found this uh, session helpful and uh, you found the math problems that we went through um, had clear solutions. Um, if you have any more homework, if you need any more homework help or uh, tutoring, you can always visit the One Class website um, or you can visit the link in the description. You can also subscribe to the One Class uh, YouTube channel to uh, watch more videos like these. Uh, I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye for now.